Hey, what's up, you guys? That might you back here, might you chilling with Tyreek, man. If you ain't already, like, subscribe, and comment for me. Hit that alert so you can get the buzz whenever I drop. Y'all, I'm here with my boy, man. I'm gonna let him introduce himself, though, y'all. What it do, man? My name is Trey, man. I'm the CEO of Rich Harris Club. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, man, let's jump into it, man. How all they come about? Man, I put this idea together when I was locked up, man. 2014, I was incarcerated. For real, for real? Yeah. All right. All right. Hey. So, so what made you come up with the name of Rich Habits, you know? Rich Habits uh, was founded by my partner who was currently incarcerated. Oh. It was the name of his mixtape. Right away, free training. Dang, okay, okay. And what, what y'all both come up with it, or it was just? Yeah, well, it just really was our lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? We had Rich Habits, you know, for shopping, for putting that shit on. I liked it, I liked it. So how long you say you been really in tool, you know what I'm saying? Two years, two years, two years. I, I started fresh out of the ground, been doing it two years. For sure, for sure. So man, we in your store, you know. I and it's crazy. I didn't even know you had a store, you know. So how long you been here? You, you know. Well, before I started the clothing line, I already yeah. had the building. So oh, okay. when I when I started the clothing line, and it started to get some traction to take off, for sure, for sure. came up with the idea. Let's go on and change it to a store. Yeah, it used to be the spot. Okay. Yeah. For sure. Before you went in. For sure. For sure. Yeah. Now we used to be here gambling, you know. Oh, okay. Me and guys sure. sit here gambling, watch football, football. You know, do a little bit. Show, not nothing, no really legal yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Not that type of spot. Nah, 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 <laughs> I already know, you know what I'm yeah. saying? But nah, it's nice under here. Oh, yeah, for sure, appreciate it. For sure, for sure. You gonna, you gonna do any more remodeling in the line too? Oh yeah, so we currently, we, we selling clothes out here right now, for but sure, sure. we not officially open. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? So I'm looking to officially do a grand open in March. Okay. So I'm gonna finish, sure. doing the, finish the renovation process, and then we gonna go from there. For sure, you think once this get off, well, it's off, it's off the ground, you know what I'm saying? Everything ain't going. They go relocate to another, well, get another store. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know, expanding is always part of the plan. Not always. But when I uh, when I started doing what I was doing, it was uh -huh. more so for uh, my area. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't really, uh, right now where we at, we're in OCL, Arkansas. But, yes, sir. you know, I'm from Wilson, a little town 12 miles yeah, from yeah, here. I know that. But, you know, this whole area, like, we don't really have an urban <clears throat> store. You okay. know what I'm saying? So I wanted to pretty much give something back to the community. You know what I'm saying? And put my brand. So when I officially open, I'm looking to have all the local brands that yeah. we have in the area in this store. You know what I'm saying? It, it's deeper than just rich average. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's about like all this growing and getting out these trenches. I like this. I like this. So uh, what are things you do to push rich average, the brand? You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I, I move around. No you know what I'm I move around. I don't stay stagnated. You know what I'm saying? I'm consistently dropping. For sure. You know, uh, I don't drop every Friday, but I try to drop at least two Fridays out the month. You know what I'm saying? I dedicate those Fridays to my partner, like I said, that what the name originally coined from, Trent. Okay. So I call it Free Trent Friday. You know what I'm saying? I like that. So you do a lot of pop-up shops? And... Yeah, I used to do a lot of pop-up shops, man. I don't know. We need some more pop-up shops. They ain't really we, been dropping like that. I know. We, we're around this area. Yeah. We don't really have, but like, like I was telling you earlier, you know what I'm saying? When, once you get deep into like... Bigger than Arkansas, yeah. they really, they really do this shit. You oh know yeah, what I'm yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. But see, I don't want to uh, do too much in other states. Being from Arkansas, I wanted to lay home on what I had going. I got you. So I when I do you. branch off, and they say, "Well, where you from?" and they say Arkansas, everybody in Arkansas don't know. You know what I'm saying? So I got you. We can put our foot down there, right around the state. We, we, we got for sure. So being in the clothing business, man, what's a what's a lesson that you learned that's still with you? Man, honestly. Mm -hmm. Man, this just like any other business, you know, it's just like the streets. It's a lot of politics. Yeah. It's a lot of faking. Yeah. It's a lot of flies and it's a lot, a lot of that. But with all that being said, you know, you continue to stay focused on what you got going on right now. You let people do what they do. You know what I'm saying? For sure. But for sure. the main thing is just, uh, the main thing I learned, just take care of your people. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Just take care of your people. You know what I'm saying? As long as you take care of your people, your people going to take care of you. That's what I done got. So, what's your hardest challenge with being in the club and being? It could be just waking up in the morning, anything, you know what I'm saying? Anything. But the, like I said, the hardest thing with me, man, is, is to fake it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot of, uh, you can have the same, you can have a good product. For sure. You know what I'm saying? But if it don't get in the right hands, then it's hard for it to get to certain places. You know what I'm saying? I guess. And so, like, people be wanting you to fake and all that. I can't, it's hard for me to do that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? If you fuck with me, you not. Well, you know not. I'd rather you get my piece and say, hey, man, it look good, but I don't like it because of this. 
than to be like, oh yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? Give me this, and I never see it. You know what I'm saying? I get you. So it's like the fake shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't. What that yeah. So so like you saying, put it in the right hands or like. So how J Cole and them come back? You put you you putting it in the right hands. You know what I'm saying? I was in Atlanta one night, man. Okay. We was in Atlanta kicking it, coming from the club, and uh, me and my partner, and we pulled up to the gas station. When I pulled up, he was there. You know what I'm saying? Him and Fred Pops. So she, you know, I mean, I'm a country boy. She said, "What's up?" Yeah. He was just, you know, he was one of them ones. He was, he was real with. It. He said, "What's up?" And it went from there. You know what I'm saying? For sure, for sure. She closed mouth, don't get fed. Mm -hmm. and, all, you feel me? Yeah, and, and like you said, we from the country, but it is also a good way, you know, to learn how to approach people. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So, and not just J Cole. I see you may said, you know, done trip. You know what I'm saying? How, like more than that, uh, but uh, black boy, you know, just. You know, anybody's like, do do you just, is it more so, do you just always, you know, like you said, close mouth, don't get fed? So what it is, approach yourself, you know? before I started to close mouth, like mm -hmm. I said, the name of the brand is Rich Habit. Yeah. The model, the slogan of it is, it's a lifestyle. Yeah. I've been living this lifestyle. I just stayed off the camera. So when I started to close the line, one of my partners, he was telling me, he said, hey, you got to get on the camera, you know what I'm saying? You got to show them what you're doing. So like now, if I'm in Vegas, if I see somebody, I say something to him. You know what I'm saying? Before it was more so like I see him, all good to see him. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not on no groupie shit, but just on some marketing type shit. You know what I'm saying? Sure, sure. That be my thing. I don't be wanna. Well, I I don't be wanna feel like a groupie or nothing. But like I'm not. Said, I ain't doing like no groupie shit. Nah, me neither. You know what I'm saying? But you know, it's like that's one of the things I have to learn. Like it ain't even about that. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? You trying to market this brand. Right. You trying to present what you got to this world. For sure. So for some, sure. you know, sometimes you just gotta put that shit to the side. Like, and if a nigga think it's like that, then I'm sorry for you, my nigga, because that ain't what it is. You feel? For sure. For sure. I, I feel like I feel like I was in a situation like that, but sometimes my pride get too big. You know what I'm saying? And I. I ain't no, like I said, I don't be feeling like I want to be a big man, a nigga or a groupie or, you know, when it comes to my brand. But like you said, you got to put that shit to the side sometimes. Yeah. I ain't really thought of it like that, but I'm going to take that into consideration, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. So how you feel about, like, artists hitting you up? Like, man, let me let me rock this for the, you know, just to put it out there for the free or whatnot. How you be feeling? Anybody ever hit you up like that? Well, you know, you, I have people that, that have got some free things from them, but it's like, I don't really feel, I don't feel no bad way about it because at the same time, if this artist doing what he doing mm -hmm. and I can get, and he take my outfit and wear his outfit, wear my outfit and get people to come see what I got, sure. it don't bother me. It's like, he, he give me an opportunity to be on his platform. There you, go. you know what I'm saying? It's like, you scratch my back, I scratch your back type shit. You know what I'm saying? Sure. So like I said, we all on the same mission. You know what I'm saying? I like working with local artists and things like that. You know what I'm saying? For sure, for sure. So, like you said, like, we're putting... Wearing your clothes, you you wear your clothes all the time, like you know, just to brand it all the time and everything. Oh yeah, so that's all. That's really all I'm wearing right now. You know For what I'm saying? I mean, I really it's just local. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Black arms. You know, that's what I'm wearing right now. That's, that's, a, real, good real. Thing. Like, that's a good thing. When you get into the business, you start learning the game. It'd be hard to kind of mess your money off on certain things. You know. You know what I'm saying? Like when you know, you, you know, you know. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't really know. Yeah. So, uh, like coming up with different styles is hard for you, you know, like you got winter clothes, you got, you know, you got to fit the season, you know what I'm saying? Is that hard for you? Nah, actually, the uh, the design and coming up with the style is the easy part. Like, I, yeah. I, I thought that was the hardest the part, hardest part. The hardest thing with me was learning the material because I have mm -hmm. a style in my mind, I have a look that I want, mm -hmm. but you got to know the material to get the right product. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, that's what I do. I love dressing. So that's why I said the style is not really styling and designing is like the easy part. You know what I'm saying? It's learning the material and being able to get that product that you got a vision in your mind. For sure. Because I'm always, I mean, I be, you know, I be seeing everything. I'm, how you put that cool with, you know, the yeah. color coordinating and everything. Yeah. I always thought it was hard, you know. <laughs> Shoot. So how often do you feel like you, you have to re-up, you know what I'm saying? Well, I, um, I order a lot of time by the seasons. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I try to stay ahead. Okay. So, like for instance, right now it's November. So you know it's winter, fall slash. I mean it's December. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's winter, fall slash winter. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So right now I'm working on spring product and summer product. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like I got winter product on the ground. I got more winter product in the air on the way. And it's kind of stay ahead because I have a I have overstock. You know what I'm saying? I don't have print on demand, so it's like. 
I have it ready for you when you want it. There you go. You know what I'm saying? That's the best way to have it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That way you can, I can see the numbers and see what makes sense. For sure. Yeah. So, like, with other uh, clothing brands, do y'all collab a lot or, like, talk a lot or throw an idea to each other or whatnot? Yeah, uh, I haven't I haven't did no collabs okay. with, uh, with no brands. Okay. Uh, but a lot of the brands that's around mm -hmm. in my area, for instance, like Thug Town. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Ride too hard. Yeah. Ordinary. You know, all us kind of, all those guys kind of uh, impacted what I got going on. For sure. Because most of them was doing this before me. Yeah. Yeah. So at times, you know what I'm saying? I done got some advice from them. They done gave me some advice. And that's how we, you know what I'm saying? How we rock. And there's other brands that I done talked to, like, uh, too long. Like in Atlanta. It's oh, too okay. long. I, I, I yeah. So I done got, you know, that's. Part of when you at the pop ups and stuff, you know what I'm saying? It's good. That's why I said I like the pop ups. Oh, yeah, good. It don't be all about the dollar. Yeah. You know, you can network and you can rub shoulders and you can learn from other people. For sure, for yeah. sure. So, you know, your, your brand ain't big, you know what I'm saying? So, do you do it by yourself or you have? Uh, yeah, I do everything by myself. For real? I'm working on putting a team together, but right now I do everything. I, and and I was just talking. I design it, I buy it. I, I, do, it I do it all by myself. You know, that's my, that's my biggest problem. Doing everything by myself, and I, I feel like I can be, I feel like I can be more where I'm at. But I like doing everything by myself. But I know I can't. I need a team. You yeah, know what I'm saying. Yeah, that's, and that's what I that's what I've been learning. And I and I got that idea. I got that advice from somebody else. Somebody, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, somebody. So they was just telling me like you need a team. Like you know, like I don't. I didn't come up in an era where you had a phone all the time. Yeah. And so like now, you know, everything is done with the phone. You know what I'm saying? Everything is, you got to take the pictures, you got to do that. So I had like my little partner and them be around me and they'd, and they'd be like, take some pictures, let's do this, let's do that. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, but more so like I went with that. So now that I'm learning more about the business, that's why I'm trying to formulate a team where everybody around me that have a position, a yeah. job, so much to make their money. You know what Trust me, yeah. I, I'm saying? I'm trying to get on it, but I, I be so stuck on yeah. me. And I feel like I can do it by myself. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, I know I can't. I just need a drive. I need this, that, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And like you said, with the phones, I really hate texts and all that. You know, I've been to skip somebody, didn't read, nothing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's good to have a team, you know. So for our support, why you think your hometown, you know, fuck with you more or, or people out in everywhere else? Man, Mississippi kind of put me on. Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Right here at sure, home, sure. you know what I'm saying? From. Wilson, Joyner, Osa, Ola, Blyler, you know what I'm sure. saying, all this around the area, but, you know, I get support from everywhere, you know what I'm saying, yeah. I get support in Little Rock, you know, I done got support, a lot of support in Bowie, Missouri, sure. I get support when I'm in the A, you know what I'm saying, but if it weren't for home, I'd probably say, fuck this shit. <laughs> I, I understand, for sure. So when you travel, you travel a lot in beer, where you just, you take extra stuff with you just in case, like extra merch, you know, in case somebody. It depends on what I got going on, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, like, uh, Sometimes I have to get away from this because I, I be doing it so much. So sometimes I just have to get away from it and just enjoy myself. So the only thing I have with me is some cars. Okay. Most of the time when you see me, I'm going to be in the truck with some toast in the truck. That's good. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to have some merch with me. You know what I'm saying? Sure, sure. But sometimes I just have to get away from it and just live my life. You know what I'm saying? So you got to get away from it sometimes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So uh, what motivates you every day to keep going, man? Because I'm got to get you going every day, you know? Like I said, I like fashion. You know what I'm okay. saying? I like putting that shit on and I like the look I, uh, on people's faces when they looking good, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I, I, I need me a stylist. Huh? Give me a stylist. Shit, what's up? Man, I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't never, I ain't in the dressing. I ain't with the, I ain't never really been into it. I can't. What's up? Let me know. Nah, for sure, I'll get you right, for sure. Uh, Hey, but y'all, man, I'm here with my boy Rich Habits, man. Whenever you need anything, you this way, anywhere. You know what I'm saying? Y'all tap in with my boy, he'll get it to you. For sure. For sure, man. We out of here, y'all.